Welcome back to episode two of farming every single master rank gear set and weapon set within the respective trees. Today I'll be farming Titsuyaku and I probably ended, ended up farming more ma high rank Titsus than I did master rank Titsus, ironically. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like down below comment if you've ever farmed a titsuyaku weapon and or armor set and also don't forget to give someone a compliment they deserve it i hope you guys enjoy thank you for watching so i plan on doing all these like bone alloys hornetars all the smaller monsters probably towards the end because i feel like they won't take as long but today we are going to be farming the titsuyaku armor set both the alpha and beta so uh let's just see how much this is going to cost me at least just for the armor sets alone. Okay. So just the armor sets alone, we're looking at 20 thick hides, one more photo membrane, and five more Shamo shards. Honestly, not bad. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. But we're not done, brothers. Now we need to add the weapons, and I don't think I ever have gotten a Titsuyaku weapon in my life, so let me just, uh... So we're looking at a longsword, dual blades, insect glaive, and heavy bow gun. Okay, that's not terrible. Should I just craft this first, or should we, uh... Yeah, let's just craft it. I feel like if I can just craft it, then, uh, we'll be a little chillin'. Can I actually... Oh, we'll upgrade it later. Uh, dual blades... Titsuyaku dual blades. Okay, so this is going to be a pain in the butt. Then we need a insect glaive. Uh, right here. Okay, that's donezo. And then we need a heavy bow gun. Um, there's a lot of stuff there. Okay, now with everything we're looking at... Five claw pluses, 12 shards, five more shards of Shamos, nine photomembranes, 11 more hard claws, and then some thick guides. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go fight the high rank version first, get some of the Titsuyaku claw pluses, since that will probably go a little bit quicker. I think I should go for a quick sheet, if I'm correct. Kind of hoping while I'm doing this, I can gather enough footprints and or uh, scout fly information to where I level them all up. That I that maybe will happen. It's kind of hard to say. Yoinker doinker. Three. Oh. That's unfortunate. Okay, so okay, so it's cheese, but we have got the dual blades ready to go. Yeah, dual blades right here. Awesome. Okay, not bad. Now let's upgrade the dual blades. We need more claw pluses. More claw pluses. I'm actually surprised I hit that. I totally didn't think I would. The bow's pretty interesting, because I always feel like I'd run out of stamina. I don't know. Dude, I got no claws from that. Okay, we're never using the bow again. Oh my god, we got two claws that guy. I'm making up for last rank. Oh, largest right there. Yeah, I might bust out some freaking One Piece, man. Not gonna lie, dude. Having the background. So I want to play catch up.
I love the dual blades. Dude, I love most of the mo weapons in Monster Hunter. They're so fluid. They're so much fun. Just so cool. Oh, hi, Devil Joe. Oh, you want to you wanna tussle? You want to tussle? I'm down to tussle. Where are you going, buddy? Get back here. Hey, you wanted to tussle. Get your ass back here, Boroski. You wanted to tussle. I'm down to freaking tussle. Oh, okay. Never mind, JK. Wait, we're not tussling? Wait, you're just leaving. Little bitch. One claw. Two, three. Oh my god, wait. We actually got them all. That last... Titsiaku was a Chad. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, we can upgrade the dual blades. Um, where are we at here? Dual blades, dual destroyers. Nice. Nice. Okay. And now instead of fighting regular high rank titsus, we get to fight master rank titsus. Woo! Tough claws. These can actually get from Shamoses, which would be nice. We're finally on the master rank grind. We finally upgraded the dual blades to master rank, and this is everything that I need for master rank titsiakus. I need 14 more thick guides, 15 more card claws. 11 more photo membranes, 5 more Shamos shards, 13 more shards, Titsuyaku shards, and then one more Tough Claw. That should be every single thing that I need. We're off to start the Master Rank Titsu grind. We <laughs> I said I'd start this probably a little while ago, and I just never did. <laughs> we were playing other games, but we're back. We're back. My nose is the under part of my nose is kind of bleeding, but it is what it is. We'll just stick with the uh, dual blades and uh, probably watch a shitload of anime while I do this because it's probably gonna take a little bit, probably. So, hey, it is what it is, though. It is what it is. I'm not going to lie, the hammer, maybe there's another, like, two weapons, I think. The insect leave, I think, the hammer, and I want to say the sword and shield, I could be wrong with that, probably have the best use of the clutch claw within combos. It is so smooth, like, I don't think there's any other weapon that uses it as good as these ones, because, like... If we just take a look at the hammer here, you're always going to be running around with a charge, most likely, right? Because you want to get get a timing to do this move right here, or you want to do the variation where you're charged up like this, right? Which makes sense. And a lot of times these moves, they will stun, and it's a perfect combo into getting the clutch claw attack off because you get enough time, and even if you've got the mantles on, like the rock city mantle, you can still get it off. But I think every other weapon should have had some sort of sprinkle like that. Like, I don't think there's... I could be wrong off the top of my head, right? This is just me thinking off the top of my head. I don't think any other weapon besides the hammer, the insect glaive, because I know you, while you're in the midair, you can attach, which is pretty cool. And I think... I think the sword and shield does it. But I don't think any other any other weapon has those quick easy clutch claw attacks to attach the monster and if every weapon did i feel like the clutch claw could be a lot a lot a lot better Look at the difference. Granted, that the fight was a little bit better than the rest of them. 
I go from like a five minute fight with the hammer to a one and a half minute fight with the freaking heavy spread heavy bow gun. It's actually so crazy how good this the heavy bow gun is. I love it. I enjoy it. Such a potent weapon. I think I just need one more, right? Yes, sir. And then it's time to start upgrading, right? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it didn't kill. Unfortunate. And dead. Yeah, it's actually just kind of crazy how good the heavy bow gun is. So if I'm correct, I think that should be everything. Because I've got all the gear, at least, for sure. But let's cre create this stuff here. Armor set. Master rank. Let's just get down here. Okay. Titsi Aku. Well, first, let's look at it. It's honestly... I mean, it's okay. This is every... Well, I can't even say what everything it gives, but... It's... I mean... There's your comparison for if you ever want to see it. And then let's just create it all. Dude, I wish you could see this. Well, you can, but... I wish you could go a little quicker. Oh, whoops. So there's one, two, three, there's $90,000 right there. Oh, fuck. I wish you could just, like, create all, craft all, if you hit the actual armor set piece right here. So, bang, there's your Titsu. Not bad at all. Now, time for the weapons. Yes, longsword. Right here, binding blaze. Maxed out. Insect glaive. Div Diving destroyer 2. It's got a lot of thunder element and a decent amount of white sharpness, honestly. Not bad. Okay, so those are maxed out. Uh, cross destroyer. Okay, so I did actually get both of these. Not terrible. Okay, those are maxed out. Why did I think that... Was that it? Is that really it? Did I not craft this one? Oh, that's unfortunate. Let me guess. Oh, we can make it. Holy cow. That's actually huge. So we got the longsword, the dual blades, the insect glaive. And thankfully, I actually had enough to do the heavy bow gun too. I only did the forge aspect of it, but long sword first. We've got the binding blaze two. Honestly, not terrible. It, I mean, I'll never use it really, but I mean, it's got a lot of thunder and white sharpness, so it's it's okay. We've got the dual blades, the cross destroyers. They're okay. Close range offensive weapons that are used to deal with rapid I should probably do this so you guys can see it. Look at, let you guys look at the uh, Binding Blaze also. Honestly, it's not terrible. It's pretty good stuff. Now, moving on, we've got the Luminous Blade 2. The heavy... Not the heavy. The Insect Glaive. Looks pretty neat. Then f we've got the Arma Destroyer. Uh, that is right. Sorry, the Deadeye Destroyer 2. My bad. That's right here. Here are the shots that it can do. Um, it looks like it's a spread bow gun. I think it looks like it is. It has spread three, four shots, recoil slow. I mean, it may be okay, but that is everything for Titsiaku. And then we've got the, of course, the headpiece itself, both the alpha and the beta right there. Sorry. Let me just create this by rarity. Where are we at here? Yep, alpha and the beta right there. Uh, alpha and the beta right there. Bang. Kind of looks like a friendship set, almost, in my opinion. Um, beta and the alpha right there. 
but that's it how many did i how many, i kind of want to look also i guess maybe to see um hunter's notes how many i've actually beaten i've hunted 27 of them i don't have a gold crown for that unfortunate unfortunate but if you guys did enjoy today's video of farming every single monster's gear set please leave a like down below comment what you think about it and if you farmed tetsuyaku set and don't forget to subscribe otherwise have a wonderful day and don't forget to give someone a compliment see you later